Yeah, some of the equipment, we got the uh, Maritron uh, uh, NEMA 2000 uh, backbone in the boat so we can put up uh, information from uh, the engines, uh, all of our tanks. Um, we can do exhaust uh, temperatures uh, to see if you're having a problem with your cooling water before you even have a problem. Uh, we're really getting a tremendous amount of diagnostic information to keep people away from having uh, failures or maintenance issues. They get it before it becomes a problem. There, the fly-by-wire, uh, that's part of the, they call the Unlimited Series from uh, Yanmar. Um, our next couple of boats are going to have Volvols in them, uh, which make also a very nice common rail engine. And uh, we're looking at the Glendenning uh, package of electronic controls. Uh, they have a remote for putting a person outside the boat. They can use a handheld remote to be able to operate the boat for docking by yourself. Wow. And of course, with a flybridge, it just kind of makes sense to have electronic controls so you can have dual stations without running a whole bunch of cables that probably don't work very well together. That there, right, the old style was uh, mechanical injection. Uh, and now with a common rail, they're able to put extremely high pressure. Uh, the fuel delivery is under extremely high pressure, which is atomizing it even more. And they're be able to finely meter it so that our engines, even when we're lugging along at you know five or six knots, uh, we're still getting extremely clean fuel burns and we're not uh, gumming up uh, the cylinder heads. Um, starting these engines from a cold start in the morning, there's no blue smoke coming out of it. Uh, it doesn't smell like diesel. Uh, they're just extremely clean fuel burning. And again, a lot of it's been driven by the, uh, uh, the EPA. Uh, these engines are tier two uh, compliant, which means that they're extremely clean burning, but with that, we're getting very high fuel efficiency numbers as well.